and ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another video and this one is a bit different from what you have been seeing lately on youtube on my channel here i have been really you know in love with my new discovery which is the senior high schools in ghana i mean public schools in ghana i've been on the series for more than a month and i'm proud of my myself i'm proud of the journey and i appreciate you all for supporting me on that and for those who are concerned if you want to know if i'm still on it or done i'm not done yet okay i'm on it but from time to time i'll take a break and address some issues and of course maybe if the need be to put it on hold i will for the sake of you know peace and all that but today i want to talk about the missing people the missing ladies in nigeria which unfortunately one of them happens to be a Ghanaian among them and I don't know what to say not because she's Ghanaian but because she's human and I have spoken up here severally that my country is a country that as a woman you walk on an egg shell if you are living in Nigeria as a woman you are not 100% safe there, there are violence against women there are cultures in Nigeria that women are not supposed to open their mouth to speak when men are speaking and as a woman in my country a lot of atrocity can be done to you could be done to you and you are expected not to speak up because speaking up is even more dangerous than keeping quiet so a lot of the times i have talked about it here because not everyone would like me i have seen people criticize me both nigerians ghanaians some ghanaians criticize me for my choice of content and my choice of words and stand towards my country they said i'm a sellout some people keep accusing me oh you're looking for views someone that don't love her country she's gonna love us more than her own people i have never stated that i do not love nigeria i have always stated that i do not like the activities that are going on in my country and a lot of the times i have had people throw shades nigerians non-nigerians content creators in the past you see Ghanaian content creators you know you see people avoid me basically because to them i'm toxic because if i'm not toxic why will i ever say that my country is unsafe <laughs> so i i'm not angry with all that okay in all of that I, ha I have been speaking up i said as a woman in nigeria life is difficult children and women go through a lot especially in some part of nigeria but I like the fact that some um, some YouTubers go to Nigeria or oh, make videos. They don't show you everything. I am a content creator. I choose to show you what I want you to see. A lot of the people living in Nigeria and moving freely that are rich or that are presumed to be rich, they do so, they spend heavily for their security. They pay to buy their lives they pay to have heavy security guards follow them around to everywhere they go but they come on youtube and uh, try to do the damage control they try to say you know they just want me to look toxic to the world like sell out a hungry woman that is desperately in need of the views to make money on youtube according to them so that i can feed myself because life have really frustrated me <laughs> Oh, it's unfortunate this has happened to two women and i can never judge them i will not because some of us are sitting here today alive coming from a country like nigeria is nothing but the grace of god i have shared i've shared my experience here on youtube how i met a man through facebook i did i shared that experience while i was still in nigeria and that is why sometimes when people accuse me of running to ghana to speak down on nigeria it baffles me because i have always been like this i am fearlessly fearless i don't know if you understand it i do not know how to be afraid the only thing i fear to do in my life is to lie on people to do evil intentionally to hurt people because i believe there is a price for every everything you do good or bad and i cannot pay the price of evil it is expensive i cannot pay so i have always chosen to do nothing but 
my little way of doing right that I could to the best of my ability to do right. In the course of doing that, I have been called names like, oh, you know, you know, you're not smart, you're not educated, you're not intelligent, you're not a patriotic Nigerian, you sell out your this. It's okay. Oh, what about now that this has happened? And this is coming to you because a Ghanaian woman is involved. If it was to be only nigerians this wouldn't have made it to the news and if i tell you that on a daily basis crazy things goes on down there in my country against women people will say oh she's looking for views sell out nigerians that are fully aware of our system on and how there is no protection for women and how violence are constantly committed against women will still come and drag me they will say all manner of things but in their hearts they know the truth and that is why i keep saying that dear lord in my next life if you must make me a nigerian please give me the heart of a devil so that i can care less about others because the heart you have given to me and you have made me a nigerian is making me look unintelligent and desperate for views in front of the world the reason why people are you know a lot of people hate me or hate my channel especially nigerians is because i am not from one of the major tribes this channel would have been applauded on a daily basis because come on i'm doing an amazing job nobody says it but i know it i am not a fan of self exhortation okay i do not exhort myself as in, i do not praise myself yes but i know sometimes in my head low-key i know i'm doing the right thing and i won't stop by the special grace of god there is nothing uh, even though a lot of nigerians have done so many things against me since their discovery of this channel there's nothing they haven't done newspaper written articles written on newspaper they have done so many things and i have lost friends people who met me at the cost of doing what i'm doing on here basically giving my positive reviews of ghana and standing on my ground about my country in areas i totally do not agree with my country they know that they saw that that they come to me they want to be friends with me by the time they come closer because to them it looks like i'm doing it for the views when they come closer and discover that i am real for real everything i'm speaking here is what it is they cut me off or, or i cut them off in, in some cases i cut them off because i can't explain myself to anybody all right you love ghana or not you do not love ghana or not if you are toxic if you if i find your behavior towards me or other human questionable i will cut you off that is how i behave yes so i have spoken about insecurity in nigeria against women at some point there's a young Ghanaian youtuber that went to nigeria i was scared to the bone marrow but i'm glad that she came back safe and of course <laughs> you do not know if that is a strategy to lure more people to come to the country and when kimura shared her experience in lagos thank god it was lagos okay she ended her journey in lagos and i was i was glad she did i wish in my heart that she goes further into nigeria into the country especially some regions but i, I also thank god she didn't go because you have no idea what could happen to her so i have spoken a number of times here that my country is not safe for women what do i get in return backlash a hey, sell out this this you are this we can't trust you some Ghanaians will say we can't trust her how can she how does it feel right now it feels terrible it is sad and you are hearing about it today because there is a foreigner involved and a the foreigner happens to come from a country that cares for her citizens because the Ghanaian embassy in Nigeria has to take up the issue for you to have seen it. Otherwise, he would have been harassing the human rights activist, that Nigerian man, one harassing, one and only activist that I know in Nigeria that would talk about it on Instagram. He would do his best and his best, they will frustrate everything and that's it. The, the, the matter would die, die down. Have you seen it? How do you handle issues? I am not saying that this cannot happen in other countries, but when this happens, how do you deal with it? Did you hear that the killer of these people, the, the kidnapper of these ladies, have been shot dead by the police normally 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 there are ways police shoots 
a suspect who tries to escape at some point and they shoot them at some areas of their bodies that won't cause them immediate death but no in my own country they said that they killed him how did you shoot him where and where is the body and i hear some people say yeah they would go for dna test dna test has to come out dna test nigeria really <laughs> oh my god my heart goes out to the families of these ladies and I pray you heal and forgive. I pray that you don't nurse that in your heart against other Nigerians. Oh, our people are not safe in their land. So we too. I'm not speaking up here because of that. I'm speaking up here so that more people can be aware. If you are going to Nigeria, it's not every region. Now, think about it. These people said, according to the story, this happened in Aba, in Abia State, at the eastern part of Nigeria. But Andrew Mann, the suspect kidnapper was murdered, was shot dead in Benue by the police. I mean, on their way to Abuja. Please, I am a Nigerian and I have traveled to every nook and corner of Nigeria, except for the far north, like Brunu, Kano, Sokoto. These are the parts that I have not explored. But I've been to every part of my country almost every part of my country so i'm thinking i have been thinking what's the relationship between abba and benway if you are going to abuja i mean make it make sense it doesn't it does not make sense i mean you are going to abuja you're going to abuja through benway from abba make it make sense i am from cross river i share a common boundary with benway they are my immediate neighbors and then i have another neighboring ebony state and also another neighbor of mine in nigeria is Wukwaibam state yeah so how did this happen a lot of people are coming up to eh, ladies should be careful they are blaming the women they are blaming do you know that there are more andrew out there do you know as we speak as i'm speaking right now as you're seeing this video there are ladies going through it in the dark in the hands of this man money hungry men and i have shared here about the culture of harboring evil because i talked about it here in one of my videos i am the most hated youtuber and a lot of people wish they could kill me <laughs> i'm here because god has me here i have spoken here before about some tradition where if their relative commits an offense they do not punish you they harbor you when you run home they harbor you so this is a man who escaped arrest in the uk got back to nigeria comfortably going about and a lot of people a lot of ladies have gone through you know some that were lucky escaped and kept quiet and people are blaming them oh why didn't you come out to speak speak this is even going to risk their lives and even that of their families i mean someone that god has made it for you to escape you speak in nigeria against a man a claim rich man as we continue to support evil evil will never depart from our land we continue to harbor we lie to the world we speak up children are adopted in school and you see mothers sit down on youtube debunking that denying it I mean people's children are being kidnapped what are you profiting is this political for me i do not belong or trust in any political party in nigeria again i did that during the era of buhari and i did that because i thought that during the jonathan regime the boko haram issues were not handled well i felt like maybe we needed a tougher hand to deal with the issues to address the issues but when buhari came into power and nothing changed nothing stopped everything continued i gave up on politics and i still anywhere i go i'm not interested in if you observe carefully my last the last election i made a video or two here talking about it about the elections in nigeria and how i am not interested but if i was to be interested of course i would have voted for P2B, I just felt like maybe we needed a younger person to try because at some point, you know, you just want to try everything. Maybe, just maybe, it, will, it could work. Yeah, elections have come and gone, but a lot of people still want Nigeria to terminate. And I'm seeing silence. Nobody is talking about it. A lot of Nigerians are keeping mute, especially those on YouTube. I know it's right for you to keep mutes, but what about what about advising people to be careful? What about stop deceiving? What about you stop deceiving people 
to come to Nigeria that is the safest heaven. Nigeria is not the safest heaven, especially for women. I am sitting here because it's nothing but the grace of God, which I wish that that grace have found these ladies. There are more Andrew out there, and a lot of people know them, but they are covering them. When these people are, when, when this evil you are harboring is done, devouring others, and you are harboring them, remember, they will come for you. There are regions right now in Nigeria. I know of a region that used to be the safest. I used to travel that road, middle of the night. Everything was good. Everywhere you go, was, was, it, it was the safest and most prosperous part of the country. <laughs> but right now, the case is not the same because of this culture of harboring criminals. Because that criminal is your brother and you have to, the bro code, you have to protect them. Now they have protected these people. These people are protected. Now what are they doing to the land right now, to that region? They have turned it into a war zone. Now those harboring them can't even go home. You have to sneak in like a thief and sneak out. Sometimes I wish to go home. I wish to take my kids home because my little girl Wendy is not having any um, external family. I mean, there's no relationship and anyone she sees, she just want to follow because I understand when a child, when a child does that is due to lack of family members around. And I wish that sometimes my daughter gets to get to see where I come from. But anytime I think of taking them home, when I remember that anything can, a whole, a whole lot of things can happen. I will snap out of that dream and come back to reality and continue to let her grow up with just me and her siblings here. Be careful. I mean, I see content creators, they go to Nigeria. These people have money. They go to Lagos. Lagos is not the only part of Nigeria. Nigeria is Nigeria. Lagos is a section of, a tiny section of the country called Nigeria. There are so many things that people are going through, but these blood-sucking demons, YouTubers, especially these ones that have made it a duty. No, have you seen a country where it citizens are the ones beating their own drum how many foreigners do you see beating the drum of nigerians like we foreigners in ghana do ghana is not a perfect place i repeat all right but how many foreigners do, do you see in nigeria living comfortably traveling carelessly and making videos eating going every corner even at night and making youtube videos how many no i want to know it is always our own people and these are human with no conscience who people with no conscience who, people who are used to damage control they are the ones that beat their drums i lillian will never be a part of it when nigeria is working i will tell you it's working nigeria is not the safest place for everybody especially for women look at what has happened this could have been avoided this could have, i will not blame the ladies okay i will not blame the ladies the only time i condemn an act when it concerns a man and woman is when it involves an underage person when it involves an underage person when underage person is being recruited into a certain act or when a woman or man is doing something against without their consent you know against their wish but for full grown adults three of them are all full grown who want to do whatever they want to do do they deserve to die do the lady deserve to die ladies be careful people who want you to believe they are rich are not rich they are i they, i believe one of my brothers should see this video i've told him about the culture of men scamming women in nigeria using money to scam a woman because for a Nigerian to fall for your scam, the fastest way to do it is you using wealth. Use money. Use money like this. Show them money because they want to get it. Majority of them are in a hurry to make that money. They will fall for your scam. I told him about some way men scam women by just pretending to be rich and these women falling, falling victim to them and they get scammed. And you have to be careful. Nigeria is not the safest country for women. Nigeria, Andrew has family members, don't he? Some people will say, don't post everything you see. They don't share your life on social media. People are, like, Andrew has no, there's no record of him on social media. He controls it. You see money, you run for money. You go for it. Dear young girls, be careful. A lot of us are here today. If I want to be like, at some point, I was advised by a friend, you know, some friends to tie a man, tie a man so that he can marry me. 
in my adulthood like this and i was already like with my two kids already and there's this relationship that came and we're just starting and a friend advised me to try that she the man she's with right now he can't leave her and she told me how to do it and i said me lillian will never do that <laughs> you know what i came on head with nothing and with nothing i shall return and all that i will do on that day is face my creator and i do not want to be dying and be struggling to confess or wishing i didn't do what i did be careful not all that glitters are good nigerians who come sit down tell you they talk about entertainment industry every day have you heard of anything i have done the school series in ghana have you seen anything from any nigerian to say oh yeah show us the what they show you is pictures when you go look for a video you can't find nigeria is not that kind of country why are people running away have you asked a lot of people are not running away because there's no food in nigeria there's food to eat it's not because of economic crisis alone a lot insecurity is the major reason why people are running away there are a lot of nigerians returning from other countries and they have decided to remain in ghana because they can't go home but they want to go home they can't and every day we continue to lie and then for those of us that speak up <laughs> once i offend the Ghanaian, you say if you can speak down on your country is it uh, me that you can't speak down on it has become something that people use against me it will stop me i will continue i get attacked by nigerians i get attacked from everywhere i'm unintelligent to some people but the truth is the truth my heart goes out to the family of in the Ghanaian lady and of course her friend her friend celine and i wish they didn't do what they did but they did be careful be careful out there yeah young ladies it's hard i if i tell you that during the month of december of 2023 i was begging for money online someone raised a go fund me for my daughter and then the go fund me lasted for two weeks or a week and then uh, she deleted the link yeah i appreciate her for her effort even though we couldn't raise what we're looking for but then she tried for me and i forever appreciate it do you know that i have someone that is very close to me that offers me money during the period slightly below the amount i was begging for and did you know that i turned it down i said no to that money me i said no to the money because i know where the money is coming from to some people i look stupid i mean why why will you be online begging i have been tagged so many names but gradually i believe in myself that one day things are going to be okay rather than try to impress the world live within your means people will call you names like oh you're poor you're broke you are this you are that and you may want to be tempted to belong it is a dangerous part i am sitting here today speaking to you is my own contribution to you dear young ladies there are so many andrew out there in nigeria if the lords open your eyes to see if you could see what is happening what our women are going through the reason you hear about this and you see some people coming to scream the only person that is a genuine activist among all those people you see making noise on on social media is harrison is harrison guamishi is the only nigerian activist that i know the rest <laughs> is everybody is creating content be careful nobody will tell you the truth i won't even bother myself to tell you not to go to nigeria go to nigeria but be careful be careful a country that everyone is running away from until we address our issues it is where it is they want to i said when when you speak they want to silence you they do everything the andrew andrew the murderer has family members do you know that some of his family members may be aware of what he does for a living this man has organs do you know how many girls go missing on a daily basis and the nigerian community will be like eh now then they said their body now now then they do a shower now like the people saying it are even worse than these people careful this is all i have to say media souls at, at at the time of filming this video i heard that one of the bodies have been found even though we are not sure if that is it, they discovered is the body of the, the ghanaian lady and her nigerian friend because this man have been in this business for a long time he harvest your kidney and sell it nigeria is not a country to play with 
is my country be careful be careful it's not all things that are not everything this self exalting people people come to tell you oh, music music hello is who is alive that listens to music music does not heal the sick do not put food on the table of people i mean this is i told you about the worship culture of my people nigerians worship human that has money if you have money in nigeria you can do all things if you don't have anyone planning to kill you to take over your money you can actually plan to kill everyone and nothing will happen be careful I have nothing to stop you from going to Nigeria for if you want to go. Go. But be careful. Especially when it concerns men. Be careful. I am telling you, a lot of things are happening back home. A lot. People are running away. People are on the road with their families. With their loads on their heads. They are running away from home. I am not demarketing my country. If you want to go, go. But be careful. Be careful everywhere you go. Be careful. I'm not saying that cannot happen in a country here where I live. But at least the way the police handled the case would have been different. But look at it today. Forget these people that sit down at their own comfort. Some of them are not in Nigeria telling you, eh, hey, hey. I see Ghanaian YouTubers too that create content about Nigeria. They have never been to Nigeria. They dare not go past Lagos. They live in Ghana. They are pro-Nigerians who have tried their best to make me look delusional. And at the end, the truth will always stand. And I pray they found them alive for those that are alive and for the body they discover. That is just a section of it, just one. How can a dead body be thrown somewhere and nobody noticed for months? That body has been decomposed. How are they going to do the autopsy to be able to identify if that is the ladies, uh, if this are the, the lady, one of the ladies they are looking for or not? I'm done with this video. The word is enough for the wise. For those that are accusing me of keeping quiet, I have done this a million times. And some people are even using it against me. Oh, she demarked our country. So don't even listen to her. <laughs> I hope that we find them alive and in case they are not, may their souls rest in peace. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another one. Bye.